Hey everyone, I'm celebrating my two week anniversary of being cooped up at home. I have gone out to uh, go for a walk and to do some exercise and to grab the coffee through a drive through But for two weeks now, I've actually been inside the house working from home and um, just living life, trying to be as normal as possible and healthy and shouldering my responsibility to be a good corporate citizen so that I'm not contributing to the spread of this disease. Some of the things that I'm doing that are helping me keep my sanity and my positivity, I'm making sure to have regular discussions with family members. So we're sitting down with the children and explaining to them, being very transparent why we have to do this, why it's important that nobody's paying us a visit and we're not paying anybody a visit. Children as much as possible need that communication right now and that reinforcement so that uh, they're not overwhelmed, they're not being stressed out, they're staying away from school, uh, they're staying away from their friends. We need to make sure that we can give them the support system that they need. People at work, how can we leverage technology, use FaceTime, cameras, video calling so that we're connecting and making sure that even though we have to physically distance ourselves from each other, we're not emotionally detaching ourselves. So it's important whether it's people at work or your colleagues, uh, your friends, family members, get on the phone and give them a call, check in daily and, and do this, do the, uh, uh, the visual and, and, and let somebody see your smile and, and have that human connection more than ever with all the news that we're listening and, and we're being bombarded with on a daily basis, it's important to connect and to make sure that we, we can understand how we need to support each other. And when it comes to supporting our local community, make sure if you can, if you're in a position to donate, whether you're donating uh, financial uh, in a financial way, whether you're able to donate through your time, uh, there's great ways. Reach out to the different organizations and ask them. There's virtual, uh, virtual uh, food banks. There are people who are delivering food to the elderly and people who cannot actually leave their homes because they're in quarantine. Uh, just make sure that if you are planning to leave your home that you're allowed to do so because you have not traveled and you're not exhibiting any of the signs. So remember to use that common sense. Really more than ever now, we need to think about how we can get through this. We're in this together. It's not about them and us, it's about all of us. And we have to look at other countries and what we could do to make sure that we don't replicate what's happening in, in those countries and what they're going through and continue to send them positive vibes and to pray for them, to pray for, for Italy, to pray for Spain, to pray for the United States, it's really hitting close to home, to pray for people here in Canada and Montreal, and even in our local communities, and, and to pray for the people who are serving us daily at the grocery stores and through the drive throughs and our first responders, our nurses, our doctors, because we're so indebted to them. They're putting themselves at risk to keep you and I safe. So the best that we can do is to be responsible and to keep ourselves out of harm so that we can keep them out of harm. The last thing that I, I want us to do that I'm hoping we can all do is continue to think about how we can be better corporate citizens. And when we do come out of this healthy and, and hopefully f as few as possible people lose their jobs and a few, as few as po possible people lose their lives and, and, and their health, when we can come through this, and we will, when we work together, we need to think about our responsibility to other countries to make sure that just like we were able to bring the world to a standstill right now to focus on COVID-19 and our corporate responsibility uh, our, as corporate citizens to say that we need to do this, we also need to make sure that we're looking after the less fortunate and people in developing countries, people here in our neighborhoods and in our communities who don't have access to clean water and, and, and to food and to a, show, to a roof over their shoulders. So there's a lot that we can do. We need to remember to use our hope and our energy when we get through this to continue working towards the betterment of our communities and the betterment of this uh, of, of this earth and to address the climate change. There's so much that we can do and there's so much that I could share and what I'm feeling and the passion that I'm uh, that I'm living daily and trying to keep myself positive and as a role model for my children and people that I'm connected with daily because it's important to do that now. We need this positivity more than ever. So please stay safe, stay positive, abundant hope to you and yours. And let's get through this together in peace.